am about to embark on my greatest adventure yet. My solo trip to Japan! Oh my goodness y'all, yesterday was a whole tutorial day because I landed, I barely got any sleep. I was up for basically 24 hours with the time change. I had to learn how to use a new transportation system, money system, navigate a new country and language, and I am just so proud of myself that I didn't get lost. Honestly, it was easier than I expected. You just gotta follow the numbers and the colors, and they have some English, and so that's great, and then people are a great help. And also, I just like to watch other people and see how they do things and you can just copy them but today is my first full day in Japan and I am just going to go wherever the wind takes me I do have a reservation for Shibuya Sky because that's where you get to see the skyline of the city this trip has been in the making for many years I've been wanting this ever since I was a kid and the fact that I'm making this come true is such a surreal moment and I'm so proud of myself and I love myself and this is also just a birthday present to me Okay, y'all, we going, we going. Ah! Oh my god, this is so cute. I love this for me. I'm shook, I'm shook. I did it, I did the crosswalk. We love that, we can check that off our bucket list now. Day one and the craziest thing already just happened to me. I got cat called and then a transphobe was like, oh, that's a guy. And I'm like, how do people these days know that? It wasn't somebody that was Japanese, it was like probably a tourist. But one of his friends came up to me and literally was like, I'm so sorry my friend did that, you are beautiful. And we had like a whole conversation for about like good 15 minutes. And it was so nice to know that like someone in his circle was like trying to change his mind to be more mindful and respect people and who they are. But yeah, that was an interesting experience and I haven't even done more than cross the crosswalk. We have made it to Shibuya 109 where there are cute shops. Oh my goodness, girl. I truly am living in a video game. I'm just aimlessly wandering around. I have no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing, but everything is new and so everything is cute. So even if I'm like lost and I'm not really doing anything because it's new and I've never been here before, it's just as exciting. Oh my goodness, look at these shoes, y'all. Oh wow, these are cute. I found a thrift store and you know I'm about to go in, girl. Okay, okay, we have some of these in California too. Second Street, but it started in Japan. So let's see what selections they have here, girl. Here are what dresses look like in Japan. Honestly, kind of fun. I saw this one I thought was like really different and unique. Like you would not find something like this in America. Found this black leather skirt. Thought it was cute, but I feel like it almost looks like a trash bag. <laughs> and that's not the vibe. Look what I found, a freaking Naruto themed store? Let's go in. What is the tea? What is going on? Okay, we have to find out, girl. We have to find out. <gasps> I see my hubby, Sasuke. Whoa, it's like a freaking museum or something. Oh, you know, just chilling with the husbando. He has been my ultimate anime crush since I was a kid. He was probably my gay awakening. We have all the other daddies, okay. Oh, a literal daddy. If you know me, I've been collecting Naruto manga since I was a kid, and they have the Japanese versions here. Oh my goodness. I still need to finish collecting it. I think I have like 11 left, but I am hunting them down, honey. Oh my god, what the frick? They have blue lock too? Oh my goodness. I literally just finished watching this anime, and I'm definitely gonna cosplay as this little dude for Anime Expo in July. I'm so excited. And they have freaking chainsaw man girl they got all of the goodies up in here i'm gonna be shopping for souvenirs too oh my fucking god it's yuri and victor from yuri and ice are you joking me can i go over there oh my god oh my god i'm going <gasps> it's a freaking meet and greet hi yuri hi victor i'm literally fangirling i have a tattoo oh my god you can't see it but if you know you know i have a tattoo of them 
on my arm. It was the first anime that got me back into anime. I'm literally tearing up right now. Oh my god! I found the BL section, y'all. Oh my goodness. If only I could understand because they have way more options in Japanese than English. Do I have any idea where I'm going? No. Did this area look cute and I just wanted to go by it? Yes. I really think that's how I'm making most of my decisions today. It's just, oh, that looks cute. That looks unique. Like something we don't have in the US. There are some stores that we have in the US like Zara and like luxury designer stores. And I'm like, I'm not gonna waste my time going in those stores because I can always go to those at home. I have made it to Shibuya Sky with the skyline of Tokyo. Girl, we are high up and this is a city, honey. Like I went to New York, New York was great, it was big, but this is just so vast. I can see everything, the Shibuya crosswalk, I can see the Tokyo Tower over there. What else am I missing? I need to take y'all on the tour to Tokyo. Such a sucker for skyline views. I'm a city girl, okay? But I love stuff like this because it just reminds me that the world is so much bigger than what I'm used to and what I already know. And that there's just so much more to explore and life is too short to settle, okay? Put yourself out there and take it all in. Oh! Of course I picked Locker 69. We have made it to a late lunch at our little rooftop udon shop with the view of the city. I I snapped. It was almost an hour away, but I hope it's worth it. I'm trying to order on this like screen monitor thing. How, how do I do this? You know what? I'm gonna go big or go home. This is my first official meal. I'm gonna go for the deluxe udon. I love Japan. They have this little basket you can put your bags in or your stuff in. That way it doesn't touch the ground and get dirty. They are so clean and innovative here. Wow, y'all. Lunch with a view. I am truly living my best life. Like, are you kidding me? I have this view while eating my lunch. Y'all, I got the biggest motherfucking spoon in the biggest bowl. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is delicious. I will be slurping, so um, don't apple pie. Y'all, I'm literally fangirling. Oh my god, I... My favorite anime of all time is free, and my friend told me that there's cardboard cutouts of them, and they're right here! Look, it's Rin, Nagisa, Haru, Makata, and Rin. Hi, so nice to meet you. I literally rewatched this entire anime, first season, second season, just to get me like hyped up for this trip. Man, my heart is beating. My favorite anime of all time, and this is such a moment. This is such a full circle moment for me. I, I know they're not real, but they're my friends, okay? I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh my goodness, I love all of you so much. Yes! Oh, and we have Todoroki over here. Oh my god, y'all, they have a whole fucking section dedicated to free. I'm literally in heaven. I'm, I'm literally gonna go ham. I'm gonna go buy literally one of everything, please. Thank you very much. If you haven't seen my TikTok or Reels, I literally bought a Sasuke Yamazaki figurine for $450. And this pin of his, I think is like around 30 USD. And I'm looking at everybody else's and I'm just like, why is he always the most expensive motherfucker out there? My God, I guess it's worth it though. Cause he is my husband though. Girl, they got everything. They got my sports anime boys from Haikyuu. This here is Karuko's basketball. More Haikyuu, oh my God. Oh my god, this one is so cute. He definitely has a foot thing. Oh my god. Oh, I called him out. Okay, Piggy, come to mama. Oh, this, this one is big. Oh, these two twins. Oh, they're twins. Wow, this one is thick. Oh, good night. Yes. Oh, you want to go up too? Oh my god, they all want to come. I'm literally freaking out. They're so cute. I'm not supposed to pick them up, but I can pet them. I have Taka on my lap right now. He has a twin. Is Taka a boy? 
It's a boy. He, him, and his, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is Taka. I think he might be my favorite. Oh, look at him just munching away. What you munching on? Okay, little piggies, who's next? Who wants to come on my lap? <gasps> you want to come on my lap? Yeah, oh, okay, bye. Never mind. Oh, the girls are fighting. Oh, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, ma'am. So apparently the pigs can get lonely and they're codependent. That's why they're always cuddled and snuggled. Don't worry, boy, I got you. That's why I'm here. I got the whole fam here. And I'm gonna adopt all of them and bring them back home to America. <laughs> I'm back from my day out, flawless first day, and I have a haul for you all. I'm glad I was able to knock out some souvenirs for my friends and family because I was worried I wasn't gonna have time or not know what to get, but I was like, if I feel it, I will just know. And I knew, but I'm not gonna show the souvenirs here because I don't wanna spoil the presents. And so I'm gonna show you all what I got for myself. Okay, so the first store was actually where I saw my free boys, my favorite anime of all time. And they had a whole freaking free section. And I told myself I was gonna get literally everything there, but I only got two things. They're both pins. Um, also, I really don't know why Sasuke is such an expensive character because this pin is literally 30 US dollars. But I'm on vacation, so money is of no object. Here is the first pin of Sasuke. I'm gonna put on my tote that I was wearing today. And my second favorite dude is Makoto, and I have a pin of him. I also collect keychains, and I like to swap them out every now and then on my keys and anything else. Honestly, I might clip them onto my purse. But I got Sasuke and Sakura. Sakura is my favorite character from Naruto and honestly Naruto has just been there for me since day one since I was a kid and it's just you know really been a part of my growth in childhood and Sasuke I don't know he just looked so boyfriend in this and so I was like okay I don't need this but he looks so good in like this hoodie and I like how he's like you know looking like himself and not like a chibi version and so anyway yeah that's what I got for myself there then at the San Rio store it was mainly souvenirs for other people but the only thing I got myself because I felt bad for uh, little old Kevin because I was like oh I'm not buying anything for myself in this store but I really didn't need anything, but I did see this. My favorite character from Sanrio is Cinnamon Roll, and I saw this, and I had to get it because it has the letter K, and it was also the last one with my initial, and so I was like, okay, fine, I'll get it. But all in all, I had such a fun day, and I'm so proud of myself for navigating the city on my own. Everybody was so nice except this one transphobe. Besides him, we don't count that. I don't know why I was so nervous going into this trip alone because it is honestly easier than I expected. I'm just out here living my best life and I really had a good time and I knew when to take a break and come back and rest because I have a whole two weeks left in front of me. I truly grew up with Japanese culture like my childhood was Hello Kitty Super Mario, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Naruto, anime, Nintendo, like that's all Japanese and so I think that's why I was just so drawn to this country and so that's why I decided to make Japan my top destination for my first international solo trip. I can't wait to look back on this journey and see how much I've grown and reflect at the end of the trip and all that stuff but for now, I'm slaying it y'all. I'm gonna take this time to rest edit some content and call it a night. But yes, I love you all so much. If you want to see the rest of my journey, be sure to subscribe. I'll be posting more videos, TikTok, Instagram, you know the whole deal. And remember everyone to be flawless is to be yourself. Bye.